Well, it looks like Keemstar has decided to piss off the internet once again. And before I start with my rant on this, I just want to say that I have done videos about Keemstar in the past. I think I did like maybe one video. I don't remember because it was months ago. But in case anybody is still out of the loop, Amaranth, who is a really popular Twitch streamer, is being abused by her husband, well, has been being abused by her husband. Her husband has been controlling her bank accounts, and Keemstar's stupid ass decided to say something really, really rotten about this earlier. And he did delete the tweets that he made, but somebody by the name of Doe Dag Nabbit had tweeted about this earlier, and... I am assuming that, yeah, this person is the owner of Call of Duty Warzone. He's a um, Call of Duty Warzone shoutcaster, and he's the owner of Modern Warzone, of the Twitter account for Modern Warzone. And he said that Keemstar has to be the worst human being to have a platform. And I agree. My thing with Keemstar is this. Okay. Back in, like, 2016, 2017... I thought a lot of his content was decent. I thought a lot of it was all right. I mainly got into watching his stuff because of his feud with Leafy is here. Before um, Leafy is here lost his channel, I used to be a really, really big viewer of Leafy is here. So that's how I first found out about Keemstar. And he has been just acting like a complete asshole, but what else is new? I mean, Keemstar is known for this type of behavior, and it really just doesn't surprise me that he would be continuing to fuel these horrible narratives towards people that already are thinking that this is just for attention when it's not. I'm going to read the tweets that Keemstar had deleted, and then... I'm going to give my thoughts, and that's going to be it. Amaranth told her chat about her husband, who has been in control of her bank accounts, taking the money, also threatening to kill her dogs, etc. Guys online been donating to her for years without realizing the money was going to her husband. Hashtag drama alert. Clearly husband is abusing. She showed the text, but... Amaranth herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years. Okay. While it is wrong that she supposedly scammed people, why the fuck should that be a big focal point here? Why should that be immediately the first thing that someone like Keemstar jumps to? Oh, yeah. She has an OnlyFans. She scammed people. This is blatant fucking misogyny. It is wrong. It's fucking wrong. It's completely wrong. And I am definitely going to say something about it, regardless of whatever backlash I get for this video. Because people just don't want to address someone like Keemstar for his wrongdoings. They don't. They never want to address somebody that is a really, really big content creator for their fuck-ups. They just want to go along with it. There's a lot of people that just want to go along with what Keemstar has said. And I get why, because Keemstar is a really, really big channel. He's a really, really massive channel. He's been around for quite a long time. But when something is wrong, you guys need to actually, like, take into account when something is wrong, regardless of who the fuck says it. I mean, it shouldn't just be, okay, yeah, Keemstar said this, let's just go along with it. It shouldn't just be that. I'm glad that a lot of people are actually calling him out for this, because this is sickening behavior. I've seen people on Twitter call her a slut, call her a whore, 
I actually called out one guy yesterday for um, saying, oh, who, sh who cares? She um, sells her body online for money. Da -da -da -da. None of that shit should matter in a situation like this. None of it should. What she, her occupation should not fucking matter. Her life is basically being put in danger. And it is sad that you guys just don't fucking care. Every single thing regarding topics such as abuse, rape, sexual assault, misogyny, etc., 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 is usually just brushed off by idiots on the internet as, oh, she's attention seeking. She's this, she's that. I'm tired of it. I really am fucking tired of it. Cause I actually am able to see stuff like this for what it is, unlike a lot of you. You guys think it's all shits and giggles. You think it's all fun and games, but I don't. I don't. There are people that don't. And Keemstar is really wrong for this. And I do think that he should issue an apology, but he won't. He's not the type of person to ever take accountability for his actions. He fucking deleted the tweets. Because... He is somebody that knows for a fact that saying ridiculous nonsense online is just going to garner him more attention. And another thing that I want to touch on is the people that, because I don't doubt that there are people that are trying to make money and trying to profit off of this stuff. Stop. If you are somebody that is attempting to make money, that is attempting to monetize Amaranth's abuse, you need to stop. Because enough is enough. Enough is fucking enough. I never knew. I literally did not know anything about Amaranth at all before this situation occurred. I'm, be, I'm going to be 100% clear on that. But just stop thinking she's doing this for attention. It's not fake. We all saw the phone call. We all heard him threaten her. We all heard him threaten to kill her dogs, her horses, whatever other animals she has. So just stop brushing it off as... Being attention seeking, show actually show her love and support instead of acting like an asshole. Just because a content creator you like decided to act like an asshole doesn't mean that you need to be the same way. I am I'm I'm just done with Keemstar at this point. Fuck Keemstar. That is my rant. I hope you guys like this video. And whatever backlash I get for this, then that's fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with whatever you want to say. You're entitled to your opinion. If you want to think that it's wrong of me to defend somebody like Amaranth because of her occupation, then that's all right with me. But I don't have much else to say. And I hope that people that are on Keemstar's side realize that he is fucking sickening and he shouldn't be doing this. So... Thank you guys for listening as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.